What's up, what's up, what's up? I am on my way to talk about my Love Uncut company on 640 KFI with billionaire venture capitalist Tim Draper, and I am so freaking nervous. You guys don't even understand. I've gotten here really, really early, and that's normal for me. I cannot be late. I don't even know how to be late. Um, so anyway, you can see the building in the background. Woohoo! I have arrived. Um, I'm probably just gonna find a pink berry because that is the way that I calm my nerves. So yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just pulled up and a whole new problem has occurred. This is a cash-only parking lot. I don't have cash. Who carries cash? Anywho. Who's lost in the parking lot? Me! Thank you! <laughs> in the elevator, those little nervous jitters are coming back again. I'm looking for a 640 KFI. Okay. Can yeah. I, to Wallace Sharp. Okay. But more importantly, I'm looking for a restroom. <laughs> it's on the first floor. Okay. Don't um, worry. Tawala can let you in. Okay. Hey, uh, Morris, you have your guest up here. Uh, yeah, you might want to get her right now because she needs to use the restroom. <laughs> Thank right. you. I appreciate it. He's on his way up. Perfect. Yeah, so, um, like I said, I got accepted to Draper, and then I, they accepted me and gave me a partial scholarship for it. Uh -huh. um, and then they were like, first or fourth? Fourth? No, we'll okay. keep it up here. Okay, I was like, bathroom! <laughs> Wait, bathroom! Thank you, right there. Appreciate it. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they were like, well, you gotta figure out how to get the rest of your tuition. <laughs> so I was like, okay! Draper University of Heroes. Crash course in entrepreneurship unorthodox educational premise based around the belief system of, get this, wait for it, comic book superheroes. So Tim, you're teaching people about entrepreneurship by way of comic book superheroes? Yeah, actually that is exactly right. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to create um, a way of thinking for our entrepreneurs that pushes them beyond what most people would think was possible. And the only way I could come up with to really get them thinking that way is to think in terms of heroes and superheroes. And so, um, and because there are plenty of entrepreneur schools out there, but they teach history. And I'm trying to teach future. I'm trying to get people thinking about the future. Joining me in studio right now is Sequoia Blodgett. Welcome to the Mo Kelly Show. So tell me more about your history, Set music video direction. I know there was a little bit of radio in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Tell me more about from whence you've come. Yeah, so basically I started my career in music videos maybe 10 years ago, not to date myself. But um, 10 years ago I started directing music videos and worked with a bunch of artists over time. And within the, that mix, I also was doing a little bit of radio too. But in the interim of that, I kind of became really fascinated with relationships and just how to create successful intimate relationships just because the music industry itself kind of gears these relationships that like are glorified in a sense that maybe they're not the best relationships to be in. <laughs> so I became fascinated with that and just how to create a company that really solidified creating very successful intimate relationships. That's kind of where my company grew out of. Um, and from that, I obviously wanted to connect it back to the tech space because obviously that's where the market is right now. And that's what's being becoming really, really successful. So I created an app. And that app is basically a fitness app for relationships. Mm -hmm. So that's really where I'm at with everything. And now I'm ready to like develop that app and kind of give it the speed that it needs. I think Draper University is a good place to start. What would be your idea of success? Because this is not necessarily about getting a grade as Tim as right. said before, it's about learning how to succeed, possibly through failure. Right. So what's going to be your yardstick of whether you've you've come out on top or you've reached this goal? 
I think what's interesting about Draper University is I'm already succeeding. Like, just by way of entering the university and applying, like, I didn't have the finances to fund this education. So I... you did. <laughs> Well, what am I doing is the question. <laughs> yeah, presently. Uh, but, um, I pitched this idea to them, uh, the concept of my app, and gave them a video, kind of a promo to show them what it was. And they were like, we love you. It's great. We're going to give you half of your tuition. And I'm like, okay, so where's the other half going to come from? <laughs> But you're halfway home, at least. <laughs> exactly. You're halfway home. So they were like, go figure it out. You're an entrepreneur. You're going into this program. Figure it out. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Work your way in. <laughs> exactly. So I created a crowdsourcing campaign and literally put it out there and, and hit up everybody. I was like, listen, I want to go to Draper University. I don't know if you guys have ever heard about it. Here is a link. I literally took my Love Uncut page and connected the crowdsourcing campaign to that. So it's like literally if you go to love-uncut.com, the campaign is there. Like I just made it happen and I'm still trying to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I've already been successful in that sense. And like I never would have done that. Like just thinking before I even entered Draper University and entered the the application process, I never would have said, you know what, I'm going to ask people to fund my tuition. Like that's what I'm going to do to get this done. But it's pushed me into a way that's like made me say, you know what, go do it. Like don't be fearful, do it. Hey guys, so I just finished my interview and it was really easy and the guys were so nice. Say hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm Mo. Tawala. <laughs> cool. So, the pressure's off. I'm done! That was actually really, really fun and so easy. I put way too much pressure on myself. Anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of that amazing journey with me. And, um... <laughs>